Every Wednesday this month, we have been celebrating National Soup Month with Rania Harris. She had shared some really delicious hot soup and stew recipes, and boy, they look good. Yeah, they all do. And today, Rania wraps up the series with a twofer, if you will. Here's Rania. Good morning, everyone. Last week, I made a chicken tortilla soup, and I casually mentioned that I usually make my own chicken broth. Well, I thought it might be a fun idea today to tell you a little bit about how I make that broth and use it in other recipes, just like I'm going to use today in the chicken a la king over biscuits. First things first, you need a nice big chicken. Now, if you can find a stewing chicken, get it. If not, just try to find the plumpest chicken that you can find, put it in a big pot, make sure you take out all the gizzards and the neck from the inside and wash it off a little bit. Add to the pot a whole lot of vegetables. I have carrots, I have onions, celery, some bay leaves. Make sure you add salt and peppercorns. Big pot, fill it with water, enough to cover this chicken. Bring it to a boil and simmer it, believe it or not, for about three hours on low. It should be at a nice, gentle simmer. You will have the most gelatinous stock or broth, and there is a difference between a stock and a broth. This is a broth because it's made with the chicken itself. A stock is made with the bones. And you can freeze it and use it in all sorts of recipes. Now that we have our chicken broth made, and we've cut up the chicken, and what I've cut here is the breast of the chicken for chicken a la king, which is today's recipe, let's proceed with this recipe. I have here about four tablespoons of butter and I have a medium onion that I've diced rather fine. Now it is important that you cook the onion in the butter just a little bit before you add in the carrots and the red pepper or you can use a green bell pepper up to you and the mushrooms. So there go the carrots and I have a red bell pepper, and since it was a big one, I cut it in half and used half of that. And then I'm going to add to this mushrooms. And I have about two cups of sliced, regular, old-fashioned, cultivated mushrooms. Now at this point, this is going to be important that this cooks on top of the stove until all of the vegetables are just tender. Okay, now look at how beautifully these vegetables have cooked. They are perfect. And at this point, what we have to do is add in a quarter of a cup of all-purpose flour because this is going to thicken our sauce for our chicken a la king. And as always, allow the flour to cook off that floury taste for just a minute. And we're going to add in one cup of our chicken broth and it helps if you want to heat the broth and the one and a half cups of whole milk that you're going to add in before you add it to the pot. All it does is allow this mixture to cook just a smidge faster. But this has to cook until it thickens slightly. Okay, I want you to see how nice and thick this is getting. Not too much, but enough that it's going to absorb the remaining ingredients. But before we add them in, I have about a quarter of a teaspoon of sage, and I want to season this with a little bit of salt, and I'll tell you why. My broth that I make is not very salty. I figure I can always add salt later, and pepper. And now what I'm going to do, I have frozen peas here, and I defrosted them just for a second or two, and I have about a cup. And this is the chicken from the chicken that I boiled. So we're going to add all of these ingredients in together. I made biscuits and I have them in a shallow bowl and we're going to let this heat up and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all put together. Okay, two biscuits in a bowl. And now you want to take the chicken a la king and just pour it right on top add a little touch of parsley and you have dinner. <laughs> well, Mission Love You, 
Bon Appetit. I'm Rania Harris, and as soon as these cameras turn off, I'm digging in. <laughs> I do not blame her. That looks so good. Eat it with the camera on, Rania. That's what we do. <laughs> we love Rania's soup month theme. It's been so much fun to see her recipes, and you can look for today's recipe for homemade chicken stock and how to turn it into chicken a la king at pittsburghtodaylive.com. And keep watching here on Wednesdays for more good cooking with Rania. Next month's theme, super sandwiches. Mm. Not soup or sandwiches, but like super sandwiches. <laughs> good emphasis there. Yeah.